Welcome aboard, I'm Jason Ovargo, and this is Star Wars Republic at War, the mod for Empire at War, which I decided to play because you know what, I haven't played a space game in a while, and I wanted to fill the space in between now and the 2.0 update for Stellaris, as well as the actual mod, Awakening of the Rebellion, that I wanted to play, which still isn't out yet, for whatever reason. But this looks pretty awesome, too. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the Galactic Conquest mode, and we're going to do the Clone Wars as the Confederacy, because everybody always picks the Republic. And we're just going to see how far we get. Just going to dip my toes into it. I'm probably going to get my butt stomped, so please remember that. I'm going to die. I am definitely going to die. And, uh, you know, if if that happens, then uh, we'll, just, we'll just try it again. Possibly on an easier difficulty, possibly in a new campaign. Probably something a little bit smaller, like Coruscant. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into this. And if you guys want to see more, do leave a like, do leave some shares. I uh, haven't seen a whole lot of people playing campaigns for this game, which is weird because the campaigns are kind of awesome. But uh, enough talking. Let's go ahead and jump in. We're starting out. Uh, are, we, are we going yet? Nah, okay, we're paused now. So let's take stock of our current position. We have Area Do, which is uh, pretty much uh, a given. We're gonna we're gonna take that pretty easily. We're starting out in a nice little corner over here. I want to try to send some of these. Oh, hold on, no. I need to remember some of the hotkeys for this game. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send these fleets and just sort of get everyone together, consolidate our forces, and let's take stock of the rest of our position. Where are we? So this is Bestine. This is at Zeri. Okay, so we're in that corner of the map. I'm moving up. This is the center of Republican power. We're scattered pretty far. Where is... I need... It looks like the southern and eastern areas are where we are going to be the most powerful. I want to start moving all of our... Kashyyyk sounds like a good place to start. Although I'm kind of tempted to maybe even just... Just hold Trandosha for now, and then just gobble up the eastern section, and and just just work our way into the middle. That sounds like a good idea. But where do we want to begin? Do we actually have any eyes up on what they got there? They have a level two space station, not much on the ground. Level three space station. That's going to take a little bit more uh, firepower, which is why we have this, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so. What do we have on our planets? Ooh, a Munificent. Why is that discounted? What do we have down there on Bakura that discounts Munificent? Or so maybe that's just a power from one of our heroes. Where are our heroes, anyway? How do we get the... Uh... There we go. There's that. Space Station level. Special ability. Excellent, excellent. Repulsor lift vehicle production time reduction. Base stealth space shipyards are undetectable due to Endor's gravity field. Ewoks may aid friendly forces. <laughs> of course, we always want Ewoks on our side. Brings heroes to the top of a stack. Yes, yes, please. I want to figure out where all my heroes are. So there's what's-his-face. Oh, there's Count Dooku. Let's bring him up into space. If we can. I always found it silly how you, you can't really uh, move move units in, into different stacks and stuff while they're paused. But what are your... What are your abilities here? Newt Gunray, one of the leaders of the Separatists. Battle droids and droid units cause more damage when he is present. And Count Dooku is capable of destroying enemies. So he's a very offensive-based hero, and Newt Gunray is more of a support character. All right. Uh, what I want to do is move everybody into the same... There's a patrol frigate. What are the... Okay, let me familiarize myself with my own units first. Patrol frigates, good against fighters, weak against everything else. Munificence, good against uh, smaller class ships. And the Providence class is the one that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with other capitals, as well as the Lucre Hulks. Okay, so we got one Lucre Hulk here. How do we want to do this? There's Tatooine. The huts are present here. Stealth heroes from operating on the planet can't do their stealthy stuff. Although that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Can, is there any way I can actually see what my enemy is up to? 
Who can I build? Definitely want to always want to build more income from mining facilities. Repair droids. Yes. Unit. Light factories. Yes. Beginning construction. I have 14,000 here. Alright. Ground command unit grants a 25% health bonus to all units in any land combat he participates in. Hello, Vehicle thank you very much. Alright, so Geonosis, we're gonna swamp Tatooine with sheer numbers, and then there's Utapau. Let's go ahead and figure out what we got here. A mining facility gives advantages that has one of these structures as well as extra income very nice i'm gonna Unit in production. i definitely want more Vehicle of these uh commander units i'm very happy with the fact that i can just come right out of the gate building munificence but is there any like uh okay there's a patrol craft but which of them is better at anti-fighter duty they can also engage light corvettes and serve as a recon vessel Vehicle in production. I'm gonna build, just build up another munificent because I definitely want to uh, just crush everything in my way here. Is it possible to actually put? Can they go there? No. Okay. So we have to figure out a way to Bespin. Ah, it's from Best from Bestine. So this whole corner, this little corner is ours. What can we do up here? Dantooine. Only a level two station. Oh, we could probably just. We could probably just smash him right there. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. But is there anywhere we can uh, upgrade more stuff? Confederacy research. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Constructing. I definitely want that. And then on my Gito. Light factories. Building under construction. Yeah, let's start bolstering our production capabilities in this corner of the galaxy. Gladiator allows the Confederacy to generate huge sums of cash. Outpost adds a garrison, boosts the population cap, and acts as a secondary droid center. Sounds useful. Sounds very useful. Outpost adds a garrison. I like that idea. But is that really what we need right now? Planet info. Population gossams. While this planet is controlled, all ground units are unaffected by weather across the galaxy? Are you serious? Wow, we need to hang on to this. And what we need to do, what the heck is Bondum? Bon bon Bonadon. Hmm. There's Mon Calamari. That's probably going to be a tough nut to crack. Damage bonus to Venators. High credit value. Whoa, yeah, we definitely want to take that. 25% damage bonus. Oh my gosh. That has to go first. Really, really no other option. Kind of tempted to also just uh, swamp Tatooine as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and take Alzok. See if we can't do that. Come, get back there. Geonosis. We have a formidable force of droids. And they have no space forces. At least I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and send in a fleet there. Figure out what's happening. Yep. Can you, can you guys please? So while they're going there, we're gonna go ahead begin our attack on Bespin. Because we can't afford to let them keep it, but can we bring our bombers over to that location? Thank you! Alright, so we got 10 Munificence and 14 Patrol Frigates. I would be very surprised if they were actually able to, uh fight back what we're sending over there. Tactical battle imminent. All right. Anybody we can actually f any way we can actually find out what they got. They have venators, but if we use our bombers judiciously, we should be able to take them down. Yeah, wow. Look at that fleet. All right, frigates, move to the front. Many Bombers. Many fighter squadrons are stationed here to protect the defense grid. Be mindful you of them. You guys be group two. Yes, 
I want all of my munificence in group one. Yes. Yes, sir. You're going to be up here at the front. I don't have any extra fighters, so this might be tough. Let's go ahead and send a patrol frigate up. And, yeah, boost engine power. Let's do this quickly. Oh, okay. You guys, group three. Group one, begin engagement. Group three, take out the shield generator. Group two. I need you up front taking out those fighters. Group two, uh, boost engine power, get to the front and attack those fighters. Group three, hit the shield generator, please. Group two, if you could please start hitting those fighters, thank you. Just take them all down. Hit that shield generator, group three. Come on, guys, I need you to do this. Ooh, ooh, we got some bombers moving in. Those guys can mess us up if we are not careful. Okay. You guys, focus fire. You guys, focus fire on that one. How's that Venator doing? His shields are already down. Alright, hit him. Where's group three? They're already dead. Not that I'm surprised. But as long as we take down that Venator as soon as possible. Ooh, look at all those fighters. Nice juicy target for our assault frigates. Yeah, take down that hangar so that they are uh, they don't keep spewing out more fighters. Okay. What we need to do right now is find the shield generator on that space station and take it down. You guys are more than capable. I believe in you. Destroy the laser batteries. We have so many units on our side. Our assault frigates are putting in work, taking out their, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, we're starting to get hurt though. I need you guys to move in closer. Those dreadnoughts are really messing us up though. This might actually uh, go badly for us. Okay, we're losing units at a pretty prodigious rate, but so are they. Please hit their shield generator, guys. I'm not entirely sure how else to tell you what to do. Those dreadnoughts are deadly. Oh my gosh, they're just tearing us to pieces. Okay. And they're bringing in still more reinforcements. We have been completely crippled in our very first go. Wow. And I left a picket frigate behind. Oh man, I did not realize Munificence was so poor at planetary assault. Probably should have seen that coming, however. I also probably should have retreated a long time ago. It's over. That was, um... <laughs> uh, I told you guys. I told you guys. I would get. I would get messed up playing this game. We lost ten munificence. They lost and fourteen patrol frigates. They lost a single venator, along with some acclimators. We need to uh, hit them a little bit harder than that. What are we looking at here? We do have a Providence class in that in that one. But if we're going after a planet, then we might as well bring in big guns like a Luger Hulk. Which, as far as I can tell, as far as I can tell, will actually allow us to get free fighters. Because that's what I want. I want carriers that give us uh, more fighters. That way, uh, Dooku, you're kind of on your own there. What are you looking at? What are we looking at here? Our new Confederacy alliance grows stronger. Right. There we go.
Coordinates are locked. I don't want to bring in my. Cancelled. Heading there now. Reinforcements cancelled. Moving out. Reinforcements cancelled. Heading there now. Moving out. All right, we're getting some free fighters now. That's good for me. You guys, group two, munificence, group one. And my bombers, where are my bombers? Do we have any bombers? Group three again. Fighters are group four. Uh oh. Boost engine power, get to the front. Yeah, get all of our oh man, the Luker Hulk sp just spits out enemy, f just spits out fighters for us. That is awesome. Well, since you guys are free, let's move you forward. Figure out what we're doing here. I'm gonna scooch my dudes forward. Send forward a couple of uh, patrol frigates in order to take care of more of their fighters for us. Yep. Nice one, guys. Yes. Yes, sir. I want the patrol frigates out, sort of picketing everybody. And what are we looking at? Why are they? Why are their guys coming from over here? I'm willing to bet that there's something up here. No. Count Dooku at your service. All right. Can't get over how utterly slow the bombers are. That's going to be bad. There's ah, there's the battle station. Let's send in the aha. There's an acclimator. Let's move everybody forward. Group three. Group four. Start mixing it up with the fighters. Group three. You go ahead and be a deer and take out the shield generator on that acclimator. Wow, okay, you guys just missed your entire bombing run. I love it when they do that. What should we do? Yes, sir. Everybody stop. Yes. The Republic has played into my hands. Let's just keep moving our guys forward. Oof. We have basically an infinite amount of fighters. And they have a lot of acclimators, so let's just uh, keep bunching up. Let's just keep bunching up our uh, smaller ships. Because they're gonna get free guys, they're gonna get free guys as well. So let's keep these guys up in front like that. And what we need to do is uh, preserve our bombers. That's beautiful. What we need to do is preserve our bombers and send them in on attack runs against that. Can you guys kill that shield generator? That would be great. We will allow the... Uh... Ooh, okay. There's an anti-fighter unit right over there. I'm going to try to use him as kind of a shield for our... Ah, now he's targeting the bombers. You guys need to get over there and attack. If you guys could hit the shield generator on that uh, there. Space base, that would be great. Oh, okay, we just need like one more run on that. Now, these guys are actually holding their own pretty well. They're lasting a lot longer than I thought they would against... Um, you know, units specifically designed to destroy. Oh, look at him just chew through that. Oh my gosh. Okay, the shield generator is down. Can you guys give me another miracle by destroying the hangar bay? Uh, actually, uh, pull back. Everybody pull back if you can. Let's get some more free units out. See, this is why I love carriers. You don't actually need to waste uh, unit space building more and more uh, fighters. As long as you have a carrier, it's just going to spit out units in battle for you, which is great. Yes, I'm aware. Attack hard points. 
And then you got the little buzzy sound of the buzz of the uh, scavenger droids. I think these are called scavenger droids or vulture droids. No, that's stupid. Lock S foils together. Now we need you guys in combat readiness. Okay, do we have enough of a bomber wing to go for another run on that hangar? I think we do. Hangar is almost down. Once that's uh, once that's good and uh, good and finished off, then. We'll pretty much have free reign on the battlefield. Although they're destroying some of their... Oh, I forgot there's another hangar over there. Although they're destroying some of their smaller ships would do pretty well as uh, uh, as well. Yeah, go ahead and take down that guy. There's an acclimator. Not that it matters. Of course, the acclimators also have hangars. Destroy their shield generator if you can. This is pretty much what the rest of the battle is going to be like. I might actually skip this in post. Yeah, you can see our Luker Hulk. <laughs> He's in range of the battle station. Oh, there, stop. He's almost in range of the battle station. This is what we got to do. We can't really take the Republic on head on in this in this condition, but what we can do. Oh, see, now we are starting to mix it up a little more. I don't like that. Take out the shield generators. We need to take out more of their fighters while we can. Let's send the uh, munificence forward. I might have been a little bit overzealous. Okay, now we're starting to mix it up. Luger Hulk. Should take our shield generator on that dreadnought. Please. Stop. Concentrate on that uh, acclimator. Get a shield generator. Nice. Okay, it's pretty much defanged. Ignore it now. Go after the laser cannon batteries on the space station. The Luker Hulk is holding its own. Not much worried. Not much worried. Not, not very worried about that. Okay, we've got this. This battle is ours. Can we take out? Can you guys take out the engines? Maybe. Can you guys head over here? Take out the engine on, the, on that acclimator? Maybe. I just want to be able to see if we can do that. Oh my gosh, they're just jumping in. You just keep jumping in more and more stuff. Where is it all coming from? I wonder. But this is pretty this battle's pretty much ours. What should we do? Where's my bombers? Count Dooku. I'm not gonna risk him. There it is. Okay. Uh hit the Ah, I can't find the Oh no, destroy the engines! I don't want I don't want any of them to escape if possible. Yeah. Without the engines they can't es possibly. Yes. Return to galactic map. All right, that's ours now. Or it will be soon. All right, I have enough time to fiddle around with, with at least one more fleet engagement. I had a bit of a crash, but that just gives me an opportunity to get to level 2. That much faster. So let's head over to Dantooine. Figure out what the heck we can do there. Oh, let's build some crab droids. Let's get another dude from up there. I do like the idea of another. Aha! Okay. We do have a Luker Hulk, and uh, once we hit level two, we will be able to build our own fighters, so we'll be able to just spam fighters as much as we want. Because as long as we have. Oh. Let's not forget these providences, which can also spit out fighters. So let's go ahead and bring those guys. Wait a minute. Uh, that was weird. I think I just accidentally quick loaded. Oh, because F6 is a quick save. I get it. Okay, well let's just uh, let's just do what we were doing before and uh, get our fleets in there. So. As long as we keep Mulinist from enemy attack, I think we'll be pretty good. What on earth is happening? Something seems to be going wrong with the interface. Hopefully things stay together. Oh, 
Okay, there it is again. I was wondering what happened there. I was going to move our providences up closer here. To protect the defense grid. Be mindful of them. I am well aware, Mr. Dooku. Look at all the fighters we're getting. Bombers. Fighters, group up. And then we have a bunch of these disgusting little tri-droids. A deadly droid starfighter designed as a fast and agile space superiority fighter. Okay. Uh, can I get you guys into group one? Along with everybody else. He's, uh, Luker Hulk is still spitting off fighters, which I don't mind at all. The more the merrier. That's pretty much exactly what, uh... That's pretty much exactly what the Confederacy is made for. Just sheer overwhelming numbers. Let's get our dudes forward. Yes, sir. Where's our carrier groups? I want the carriers up front here. So that they can spit out as many fighters as possible. I would like you guys to attack move up here. Aha! There they are. Go ahead and take down that uh, light patrol cruiser. I know you guys are going to be able to rip it to pieces. Look, it's already dead. Boom. Boom, baby. And then we get into a huge furball. Oh, there's just something glorious about that. Ooh, there's another patrol frigate. Let's go ahead and... Let's stop moving for now. You get up there. You get up there. Where's our bombers? Move the bombers forward. Hit those. Uh, hit their engines. Take out their shield generators. As usual. Ah, look at him just shredding that little light frigate. It's lovely. It's lovely. Just go ahead and keep taking them out. And hit those bombers uh, whenever you get the chance. I always thought that the droids sounded incredibly cute. They just they're just so eager to follow orders, you know. What are you guys looking at? Oh, take out those bombers, definitely. There we go. And can you take out the shield generator as well? That would be kind of amazing. Um They weren't able to take out the shield generator. Great. I just love it when my guys prove incapable. Yes, sir. Have you guys gotten it yet? Yep, it's down. I do that for the other one. I don't want anybody escaping. That would be really annoying to me. If anybody actually got away, that would just that would just really ruin my day. I don't want any disgusting Jedi tools of the state to escape my delicious trap. So let's go ahead and keep uh, keep pounding him. And the, the Luker Hulk, yeah. <laughs> Look at them all. Look at them all. How could you fight something like that? There's really no point. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Bombers. Move up there and uh, hit the shield generator on that Space base, you guys are doing pretty much nothing useful, so... Well, just just continue. Continue, please. In great enough numbers, even uh, fighters can completely overwhelm a capital ship. A small capital ship, anyway. Let's go ahead and take out the hangar as well. And no more fighters. But yeah, in large enough numbers... Even starfighters can overwhelm small-ish capital ships like this. And without any shields, without any anything, he's a goner. Move on to the next one. In fact, we're just gonna keep, uh, we're just gonna keep getting more. Just keep plunging, just keep plunging dozens of them into the fray. <laughs> Look at that. It's insane. And he's in range of the Luker Hulks. Uh, quad laser batteries, so... That acclimator is dust. Now, can we please take out the shield generator on that... Uh, on that their big nasty space base. Bombers are going in for their attack run. Uh, they just got... They just got annihilated by something. 
point defenses on the... Ah, he still has point defenses. That's not nice. That's really not nice. But if we could keep getting guys to hit those... Uh, bombers, because we don't want them to slip through. Almost taking it down. Just a, another run, maybe. Yep, it's gone. Okay. Uh, do as you will. Hit those uh, point defense cannons. Because those are wreaking havoc on our bombers. Maybe hit the hangar. <laughs> Look at it. Look at how fast it goes down. When you have enough guns concentrated on one target, it's just not even funny anymore. Do we have any more bombers getting ready? Yes, we do. Okay, let's get you guys up to the front now. Just keep going. Just just keep it going. Keeping it real. We're just going to peck away at what little engines they have left. And uh, eventually, and pretty much none of them will escape. Because they're eventually they're going to be forced to retreat. And they won't be able to. Because none of them will have engines. And it's going to be glorious. Oof. There's some nasty hits from the uh, from the concussion missile launches there. Bombers don't go in just yet. We need. Uh, ooh, where's our patrol frigates? They found our Providence. Oh come on, you guys! It's not that hard to hit. You didn't even hit. You didn't even take out the point defense cannon on that run. Now you're gonna die. There we go. And now the hangar. You just completely defang that acclimator. And that's pretty much how we're dealing with the... Uh, ooh, the dreadnoughts are always dangerous. Can you take out the shield generator? Please? Shield generator. It's almost down. Just one more run. And come on, loose your bombs. Ah, Pete's sake. If at first you don't succeed, throw millions more droids at it. And that, my friends, is how you slowly peck apart a level three battle station and accompanying ships while taking hardly any losses yourself, except in free spacecraft. Okay. I am kind of worried about uh, Bespin, since I uh, completely got... They completely wiped the floor with this. What can we start building over here? Uh, we can give this place an outpost, which sounds handy to me. Uh, Finery for blasters. Confederacy Gladiator, generate huge sums of cash, that sounds good. We're definitely going to need to start rebuilding our uh, <laughs> our store of munificence, since I pretty much lost everything. That was uh, kind of insane. But maybe Ariadu is a good target. But um, I think we've done pretty well for ourselves. We are set to completely conquer a couple of worlds. And uh, we're not entirely on the back foot. Uh, I think we can bring it back from losing, you know, pretty much all of our space assets in this sector. But if you guys want to see more, do please leave a like. Do please share the video, since that's apparently the new, the hot new meme on YouTube is sharing everything with everything else. Uh, instead of likes and subscriptions. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead and leave a like if you like the video. And I am Ed Wolverine, a York captain, and I will see you all on the next leg of our journey. Bye-bye. <laughs>